Today, I will be presenting a PhD seminar on the topic Jet Impingement Heat Transfer and Overview. Uh, the outline of my presentation is as follows. Uh, I will uh, uh, go through the, uh, through the presentation in the following subheadings, introduction and motivation, what are the different types of jets which are available, and the literature review which I have carried out, followed by the research gaps which I have identified, the objective of the, the review and the research, which is to be done, methodology which are uh, which can be followed or the possible methodologies, followed by what are the salient heat transfer parameters which can be utilized in the research, then the result in discussion, conclusions and references. So the motivation uh, behind this uh, topic is basically, as you all know that heat transfer uh, can be achieved by either by conduction, convection, or radiation. In the case of conduction, heat transfer is primarily governed by something known as Fourier's law, where the heat transfer depends on the type of the material or the thickness of the material, which is also termed as thermal resistance. So in most of the applications, wherever uh, the heat transfer is to be enhanced, because we see most of the processing application or electrical or mechanical or other applications, the objective is to uh, uh, transfer the heat or enhance the heat transfer rate and that too in a uh, very less interval of time. Whereas in case of radiation, if we see the heat uh, transfer rate is governed by uh, known as something known as Stefan's Boltzmann law, where the heat transfer rate depends on the temperature of the surface and that of the surrounding. And since the uh, heat transfer rate in radiation is proportional to the fourth power of temperature. So that's why it may not, not be of great use at a, uh, at a temperature somewhere uh, less, less than 1000 degrees Celsius. Now comes uh, we, uh, the whole motivation or the idea behind taking this topic is uh, uh, the something known as Newton's law of cooling that is governed by this expression. based on heat transfer because of convection. Now, heat transfer because of convection can be further subdivided into two categories. One is uh, natural convection, other one is forced convection. In natural convection, since the surrounding fluid, uh, uh, which may be uh, in the vicinity of any heat transfer device, may not be at a very low temperature. So, that may not be of very great use. Whereas, in case of forced convection, uh, the heat transfer enhancement can be done. But uh, this, as you can see, this heat transfer enhancement, that is our objective is to increase Q, which is heat. Uh, it depends on uh, this parameter H, which is termed as heat transfer uh, coefficient. And uh, because in most of the electronics or other devices, area is constant. Area depends on strength parameter or design parameter. And temperature difference is also not in our control. So the only parameter which can be uh, which uh, which can be uh, governed which can be varied is uh, heat transfer coefficient. So now this there are various ways by which heat transfer coefficient can be enhanced. So one of the method is impinging jet, uh, which is widely used uh, uh, since 1960, and still a lot of advances are being carried out uh, on this impinging jet. So it's simply a method of achieving high heat transfer coefficient uh, uh, with a uh, uh, small amount of surface area is uh, small. Like we can see with various other electronic equipments are of small size. And uh, so how to uh, improve the heat transfer rate uh, with the help of impinging jet. So there are various applications are there, not only in drying of food products, processing of metal, especially steels, then uh, the one of the major area where uh, this um, heat impinging, this cooling, this cooling by impinging jet is carried out is uh, cooling of gas turbine blades. And we know that okay, if we are able to increase the uh, temperature of the gases entering the turbine, then uh, efficiency of the uh, cycle can be improved. And that is only possible if we are able to cool the blades. So moving ahead. Uh, to this uh, graph which figure which tells us about uh, various region, uh, impinging jet region. 
so i will also like to tell that uh, in this schematic uh, this portion is termed as a nozzle this re um, normally represent uh, the length of the nozzle then we have the uh, depending on the cross section we have like diameter or uh, if it is slot nozzle then width uh, as you can uh, see from this schematic the uh, the fluid which can be used uh, for uh, uh, enhancing the heat transfer rate suppose this is the target plate this is a plate uh, from where heat transfer uh, is to be enhanced and this plate is at a high temperature the fluid there are various types of fluid which i, I will also cover later uh, commonly used fluids are air and water and other types of coolant so fluid leaving uh, will be at a very high velocity and uh, that can be achieved by different uh, pressure enhancing devices it strikes the plane and the velocity at um, uh, at the exit of the nozzle this is the exit of the nozzle is very high by the time it strikes the plate this portion is termed as the stagnation region where the velocity will become zero and you can see the flow of the fluid how it is happening uh, first it will be uh, it will move along the plate and followed by then it will move away from the plate but this uh, schematic is also uh, uh taking into consideration the multiple jets i am explaining for single jet but multiple uh, jets can also be uh, used now there are there can different types of jets can be used basically uh, this uh, jet is another word for nozzle and uh, a nozzle is a device energy conversion device which transforms uh, uh, this pressure energy to kinetic energy so here uh, as you can see in alpha uh, this is free surface jet where the velocity of the jet is uh, is uh, somewhere less than um, uh, 300 meter per second when the velocity is very high then it's termed as plunging jet where the jet uh, after striking will move away from the plate then we have a submerged jet where the fluid will remain in contact with the uh, target plate under consideration followed by confined jet where the fluid is given a particular direction the the there is a boundary which does not allow the fluid to move abruptly and then we have a wall jet where fluid is moving parallel to the uh, plate so here direction will be little different uh, some of the papers uh, since vast papers are available so uh, in a short uh, interval of time in last some two three months i want to some of the papers and i have taken a specific case for this review that is a stationary surface the plate under consideration can be stationary also it can be moving also so most of the authors uh, which i have uh, which i have referred uh, they have taken to consideration either downward jet or upward jet is a direction of the jet so if the jet uh, if the uh, uh, surface is kept uh, 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 horizontal and uh, the jet is placed up then the fluid will move in the downward direction so either they have most of them have taken either downward or upward and uh, the test specimen is more or less standard thickness varying from 0.25 mm to you know 20 mm also and uh, stainless steel uh, foil is taken into consideration now uh, the the uh, data with which uh, uh, which uh, the variation has been carried out or experiment has been carried out is the nolls number Uh, and the type of the fluid under consideration and uh, we can see that uh, in some of the cases nusselt number which is one of the important parameter uh, which uh, uh, measures the heat transfer rate has increased considerably by increasing the uh, parameter known as z by d which i will introduce uh, uh, later and uh, the, the variation of the renolds number has been carried out in almost all the research which uh, which i had research papers which i had gone through now the gaps uh, identified in the literature review is basically uh, the uh, like uh, most of the research which has been carried out is on the smooth surface and uh, in the last 4 or 5 years they have started also varying the uh, surface uh, uh, surface variation provided by by providing some texture on the surface so which enhances the heat transfer rate so it's uh, nascent at a nascent stage and uh, it can be further developed then in the uh, some of the researchers they have also started uh, using uh, nano fluid uh, by mixing uh, water with uh, some refrigerant or uh, other types of uh, uh, 
fluid to enhance the heat transfer rate and uh, now the limited literature is also is available on unsteady flow and uh, when the uh, target plate is moved like the plate under consideration which is to be uh, uh, where heat transfer is to be enhanced plate can also be moved but again limited literature is available where further uh, study can be carried out heat transfer characteristics of hot surface uh, can also be enhanced by swirling uh, that is providing some uh, some disturbances to the flow so that can in increase the turbulence and the heat transfer rate can increase so with this uh, uh, gaps the objective which i have identified is uh, obviously to uh, study the influence of various heat transfer parameters uh, ranging from nusselt number to uh, reynolds number and other uh, parameters like like uh, nozzle geometry and plate inclination and so on then estimate the uh, surface heat flux distribution and also to find out at what point on the plate or the surface the heat flux is is maximum because when the jet strikes the plate at that point uh, heat transfer rate may be maximum but thereafter again uh, how the heat transfer is varying that is termed as local heat transfer coefficient then compare the heat removal rate for smooth surface with textured surface because already a lot of data is already available on smooth surface but uh, textured surface may still that comparison is to be made so the methodology for the research can be uh, can be uh, either experimental based or numerical a lot of uh, research is uh, be, had been done carried out numerically and analytically also uh, empirical relations has been developed so in experimental uh, uh, research uh, this is one of the setup where we can see here air is used as a working fluid and the plate target plate this is the target plate number 11 that is the plate which is at high temperature on which uh, uh, the uh, fluid that is air from this nozzle number 10 is uh, fluid is injected at a very high velocity and uh, the variation in the temperature can be recorded with the help of uh, uh, infrared cameras and uh, which can be further tabulated so here the common devices are which can be used uh, if air is used as working fluid is compressor receiver and followed by pressure controlling devices then uh, the other uh, uh, case can be experimentally can be use of water as a working fluid so uh, now here the difference from the previous experimental methodology is here the uh, plate is horizontal and the nozzle is uh, targeting the fluid uh, from below that is from downward so and this is the ir camera so so there the if facility can be developed then this uh, plate can also be moved across the table so this can be this is another uh, uh, setup which has been used by some of the researchers for uh, uh, conducting the experiments now there are different variables which affect the heat transfer because these are the variables on which analysis is to be carried out or empirical relation can be developed starting from reynolds number as you can see in jet to plate distance this z represent the distance of the nozzle end from the target plate and d is a diameter so this z to d uh, is varied by most of the researchers and the result has been uh, tabulated and thereafter this uh, uh, this this point on the plate is termed as the stagnation point the uh, distance and that is measurement of the heat away from this stagnation point is measured in terms of r so we can also have something known as r by d ratio so r by d ratio is also used widely uh, for seeing the variation and then there are various other uh, non dimensionless number which affect the heat transfer rate now the various uh, the salient relation there are there are so many many relation but salient relation which is used in determination of heat transfer rate is nusselt number Uh, which is nothing but heat transfer coefficient uh, multiplied by characteristic length to the thermal conductivity of the fluid and uh, this heat transfer uh, coefficient h uh, is uh, measured uh, by this basic relation which is which and then the origin of this relation is newton's law of cooling a basic very basic relation and uh, the heat transfer because of convection is basically heat is provided uh, here in our experimental setup by use of of uh, some external source so that can be found out um, by 
this uh, multiplication of voltage with current upon the area surface area and the heat losses can be found out experimentally we have to find out heat loss experimentally prior to the experiment uh, in terms of radiation from the front surface and the back surface and the heat loss because of natural convection these are some of the uh, results which i had uh, uh, seen and which is very common in, in the lot of in the preview in the in the in the reviews and here uh, from this especially from this uh, uh, graph uh, one can make out that if you increase the reynolds number if reynolds number is increased as you can see the value of heat transfer coefficient is increasing and uh, this r by d zero means this is a stagnation point as you move away from the stagnation point then there is a drop in the uh, value of the uh, heat transfer coefficient that is heat enhancement is getting reduced in the next graph again uh, now the, in the previous graph we have taken a z by d value of 3 z by d where z by d indicates the distance of the nozzle from the plate so if if it, the distance of the nozzle from the plate uh, is 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 further reduced then in that case if you can see the value of the heat transfer coefficient is further increasing for different uh, reynolds number and this is a common variation by adopted by most of the researchers they vary the reynolds number from 12000 to 28000 and that can be varied easily by increasing the speed uh, of the fluid now here with the help of this uh, uh, um, uh, graph we can identify that the heat transfer on the plate can be subdivided into three regions so this Sadeep, region Sadeep, conclude your presentation so the, uh, the three regions are there stagnation region transition region and the jet flow region and this is the uh, graph uh, which is obtained from the thermal imaging camera uh, by use of dig uh, digitalization after uh, through the matlab and uh, you can see that uh, the cell number uh, that is is maximum at the core and gradually it is uh, there is a drop and then further there is an enhancement so this is termed as uh, there is some something known as uh, detachment and attachment which happens because if the speed is very high then the fluid will move away from the plate and the conclusion uh, which has been uh, which which, uh, which which can be taken out from the review is uh, um, that i have identified that there are three impingement uh, uh, regions which uh, uh, further uh, analysis can be carried out one is stagnation region transition region and the wall jet region and uh, with increase in the result number and by varying the z by d value the heat transfer can be enhanced and obviously the most important thing is where the limited literature is available is the curvature of the surface so curvature of the sur sur surface can also be taken into consideration while enhancing the heat transfer rate uh, these are the references which i have taken into consideration